Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing these Tifosi cycling sunglasses. A couple weeks ago, Tifosi sent me these two cycling sunglasses to review. Before we start talking about them, I want to talk about my history with cycling and sunglasses. When I first started cycling, of course, I didn't have any glasses at all and bugs started getting into my eyes. And since then, I've always worn glasses cycling as much as possible. So I started off with just something like this. This is my sunglasses. I still wear these today. These are the Dollar Tree Special. They're now a dollar twenty-five. Used to be a dollar, and they're actually not that bad considering the price. The downside is they do not last that long. When they break, which they always do, usually within a few months, and then what I usually do is I fix them with epoxy, like I have on this one. And that actually will give it another few more months and then it'll probably break down at the bottom of the rim somewhere and then they go to the trash so that's kind of a bummer number one you always have to be going back to the dollar tree and getting your stock of of sunglasses and then you just don't feel good about you know throwing things away it just seems very wasteful it's that um throwaway society thing that you know just doesn't make you feel great but that is still what i'm sporting that is still what i'm wearing on a daily basis for my everyday sunglasses but I've been cycling with these type of things for a long time and occasionally I still will, you know, just wear normal sunglasses if I'm taking a short trip, no big deal. Okay, then I started having the problem, I guess you could say, the situation where you might want to cycle at night or you might want to cycle in the woods where it can be a bit dark. So I grabbed the first thing I had, which are kind of safety glasses. Um, they're not that great for the job, but I've been using them for quite a while for that purpose. These ones even have lost their nose pieces, you can see. These are actually, I think, shooting glasses. So these are not a great option and they tend to scratch up a lot, but that's kind of what I've done in the past. Then I started getting into more actual cycling glasses. So these I got at Decathlon. Actually, a friend of mine gave them to me as a gift. Um, the, they came from Decathlon and they're pretty good. They're pretty decent. However, they don't make replaceable lenses for them. I reached, I tried to reach out to the company. Uh, they don't even sell this model anymore. And so now that they're pretty scratched up, I really have no choice but to trash them, which is kind of sad because I liked them. They were fine. So then I headed over to Facebook and I found these. They were, what, are, what brand is that? I'm not even sure what the brand says, but, and as you can see, these are pretty clear, but they're supposed to get darker when you go out. They don't really get that much darker. And the main thing with these is they just, the main thing with these is they just don't fit that good. They're very bulky. And I almost, I only wore them like two times on rides and I just didn't, I didn't like them. So that was kind of a bummer. I'm not even sure what I'm gonna do with these now. So that brings me where we are today. I've seen, I've noticed that a couple of the YouTubers that I like to watch are wearing the Tifosi, such as Vegan Cyclist and Clint Gibbs. So I reached out to Tifosi and I said, hey, can you hook me up with, with a pair of sunglasses and I'll do a review. So that's where we are today. And what we do have here is the, well actually before we jump into the sunglasses themselves, I've already worn these for a couple weeks. So um, they're already out of the original box. I threw away the original box. Well, I recycled it because it is recyclable, it says. And uh, anyway, it came with this brochure or whatever, and I thought it was really cool because right on the front, two guys I like to watch. This is Hella. He's a, a inspirational runner. He's been doing like, I don't know, years and years of daily running. Uh, he's from Mali, uh, the country in, in Western Africa. And of course, Vegan Cyclist, who uh, I really enjoy his videos. So, so that was cool right away. I actually like that the company is uh, leaning into the YouTube space, you know, they're with, with these two guys and they, are, they have some kind of relationship with Clint Gibbs who I also enjoy his videos and they have a lot of other athletes and, and so forth in here. So anyway, that was cool. I feel, I felt excited to be wearing the same shades as, as these guys. So that was cool right off the bat. But onto the sunglasses review themselves. What do we have here? Here is the rail and here is the stash. Now they have so many sunglasses, not sun, I shouldn't say sunglasses, I should say cycling glasses because it's not, it's not only sunglasses like these ones, they're clear, so would that be a sunglass? I don't know. Cycling glasses, so they, they have a whole lot of different cycling glasses for every type of, you know, um, preference you may have. I didn't choose these, 
Um, but these are what I got. So I made a list of things I wanted to talk about so I didn't forget. So the first thing I'm gonna start off with is the style. So, so I should mention at the beginning, each of these glasses have different interchangeable lenses. So what you see here isn't the only lenses you have. This is just how I have them configured for now. And I'll show you how to change those out later on in, in the video. But first thing I wanna to touch on is the style. This is the stash and they're very similar. If you look at the stash in the rail, The main difference being is the stash has a bottom frame, whereas the rail does not. The rail has no framing at all. So anyway, back to the style. Let me go ahead and put these on and you can see what they look like on me. So here I am wearing the stash. Pretty good look, I think. Pretty cool. I like it. Yeah, I like the style of the stash a lot. And I wasn't sure if I was going to when I opened them, but yeah, they're pretty good. I, I really enjoy the style of these. Definitely the coolest ones I've had. Now, just for comparison, um, I'm going to put on my old decathlon sunnies and you'll see these are a lot better looking. Yeah, come on, not even close. I mean, maybe this was the, the, the style back a long time ago. These are good glasses too. I've always liked them, but uh, in terms of looks not not even a contest all right now let's let's go to the rail and i guess they call it rail because it's like thin as a rail there's they're very lightweight and very thin as you can see they are now stylistically and that's what we're talking about in this section i mean i don't know they're cool but without the shaded lens it kind of just doesn't look like much it doesn't look like as much on your face because there's not so in terms of the style i really dig it between the brand itself, knowing that it has affiliation with some of these other solid guys and just how they look, I'm really into the style. I'm really into the style a lot. The next subject and probably one of the most important ones is the fit. How do they fit? So they actually fit really well. I'm not like super picky on sunglasses, but I will say that these ones I got from Amazon, they don't fit very well at all, at all. And that's actually one of the main reasons I stopped wearing these is because it, I don't know, they felt like they were uh, hurting the back of my ears. And uh, I tried wearing them a handful of times and just, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Um, most of the rest of these, I've never had a fit problem. Even these, and they fit really loose, these Dollar Tree specials, but these fit great too. I can't say any complaint about the fit. And in fact, I'll say the one thing I like about these better than my Dollar Tree specials is they seem to really stay on my head well. Like, I don't know what they've done here. I guess it's quite a bit of I guess there's quite a bit of space here on the nose bridge area that really makes them secure, but like these things don't move at all. Like they're really solid. So that I appreciate about them, which is good, especially if you're like mountain biking and you know, there's a lot of uh, bumps and stuff like that. So the fit for me has been absolutely perfect on both these. The longest ride I've done, I guess on each one would be just over an hour each. Um, so I haven't rode like super far to say anything like that, but from my hour ride, I just did an hour ride last weekend with the, uh, the rail um, at uh, Mountain Bike Park and they were awesome. They were perfectly awesome. So jumping into the next part of the video, I wanna get into some of the technicals around the sunglasses, cycling glasses, excuse me. And just, let's just jump into it with the weight. So I think, I haven't weighed these yet, but I think the stash will be a little bit heavier than the rail. So let's see what the weight is. 34 grams, okay, that seems pretty light. So we got 34 grams for the stash and, uh, hang on. okay, 32 grams for the rail. So they're honestly, they're two grams is, is nothing. Even on your face, you won't be able to tell that. I was a little bit wrong about that. I thought that the rail would be significantly lighter than the stash. So out of the two, I, I first I was leaning towards the rail because it was lighter, but now I'm kind of leaning towards the stash because I kind of like the looks a little bit better. Um, and the weight is almost the same. Now let's talk a little bit about the quality. Um, now the quality I would say is, is very good. Um, they are what, I mean, I'm sure there's some uh, other word. I'm talking about the frames that is right now, but I'll just call it plastic. I'm sure they have a better term that they use some poly blah, 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 but it's, it's basically both of them are just plastic. As far as I can tell, they do have some rubberized uh, bits here. There are some rubberized bits where they touch your skin, which is nice. So it's a bit softer right there, whereas the frame itself is, uh, is more of a plastic. And also where the touches your nose is also gonna be rubberized, so that's pretty nice. Um, you know, they feel like sunglasses, they're, they're high quality. Um, definitely they do, I will say this, they feel higher quality than this, just the plastic itself on these. First of all, 
yeah, they do have a bit of rubberization too. But um, first of all, these just feel very clunky. Um, they just, the plastic itself seems like the mold was a bit cheap. In terms of the quality, I feel like it's, it's high. And the one thing that I really like about them is you can buy the parts. So I didn't explore all the options, but I know they have a parts section of their website. So my, my take is that you can replace many of the parts on these so they are serviceable, which I really love. So it has some, like that sustainability element to it. It's not like with these uh, decathlons, now that they're worn out, it's like, well, they, the whole thing just goes to the trash bin. These you can actually, I know you can buy replacement lenses, which is cool, which is, I don't remember the price exactly, but I remember looking at it and thought it was pretty reasonable. So if you get your main thing that usually happens is you get some scratches and you just don't want to wear them. So the cool thing is, is you can replace the lenses. And not only that, each one of these ones that I received anyway, and I assume that's the same for all other sport type glasses, is they came with three lenses, including the ones that were on them. So if you, if you like the other ones, you can just switch them out if you get any scratches or you can go on there and buy your parts. So I really appreciate that about it. They do seem like uh, good quality. I wouldn't say um, you know crazy, but the quality of the frame seem, seem great, quite good. Now the glass itself, I can't say a whole lot about it. It's a, it's a very you know thin glass. It's not some kind of cheapo thick, thick stuff. I can say that. Um, I haven't got any scratches yet, but I've only, only worn for a couple weeks, so I can't really say too much. Their brochure, their website does mention like scratch resistant, you know, uh, coatings or plastic. So um, I can't say a whole lot about it, but I can say the clarity is, is really good. So I, I can't see any artifacts or anything like that. Everything is super smooth and, and nice in terms of the, uh, the lens quality as far as I can tell. I'm not an expert on lens quality or anything like that, but but I don't see any anything wrong with these lenses at all. Quite good. Okay, now I wanna do a quick demo of how you change these lenses out and I'll show you the lenses that came with. So here are our lenses. Here's the bag, the box that it comes with, which is pretty nice. Here's the lenses for the, which one is this? This is the rail, the two lenses that it comes with. And, the, and it also comes with this nice little uh, lens pouch, which I like, which is cool. Keeps them nice and safe and they're separated too. There's even a little, a little separator, very nice. Here's the two lenses for the stash, I believe. So they do, they are different, first of all, they're not the same and the lenses they send you are all different. So you can change them to whatever, you know, you're doing at the time and have these set up as clear and have these set up as I think they're darkest and they're reflective ones just cause they look cool. It looks like these two are the same, which are some kind of like you know, high definition type of view, like orange view, which I also like. And here's the clear ones for the stash. And here's the smoke ones for the rail. Anyway, let me show you how they change out. Let's start off with the, the rail. So I'm not gonna change all of these out, but let's say you want to go to your smoke ones. What we wanna do is, first of all, you're gonna need to take the nose piece off because that's, uh, that's part of it. So everything is rotational, what I found. Well, I watched, I read the, the a little bit of the manual. So that just rotates right off, snaps right off very easily. So that's the nose. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bring the arms off because that's really all there will be to these, these glasses. It's just the nose and then the two arms. So the arms are kind of like the, the nose and you know, if I'm doing this wrong, I, I hope I'm not doing it wrong. I did, I did quickly reference the manual, but that's all it took. And all you do is just rotate it. So the bottom part has like a hook. So you just rotate the, um, the arm down just like that. Easy. So that's my one arm. Do the same thing over here on this one. There. It's, it's, you know, they're not just gonna fall off. They have some, some stickiness to them. So that's the, the lens for the, the rail. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to the smoke lens. And you can see there's like a hook on that part there. So we're gonna, um, uh, first of all, this one should go to this. So I'm gonna hook, hook that in and then just rotate it just like I did when I took them off. Snaps right on easily. Same thing on this side, you got a hook. And you're, you may have to get your lenses a little bit smeared, you know, because you have to handle them a bit. Oops, get that hook in there and that one snapped in really easily. But they're never gonna come off, or don't worry about that. So that's on, now I'm going to go with the nose bridge uh, it goes like that. Now I'm demoing it so it's, and that snaps in very easy. And then you're done.
you've converted to your, your lenses. Um, I'm doing it for a demo, so it's taken you know, a little bit more time, but even me, I've only done it a handful of times. It literally takes like 30 seconds to change out the lenses. It's super easy. Now, I don't plan on changing them out all the time or anything like that, but uh, just to say that it's really no big deal to change them out once you know how. Now, let's take a look at the stash. Here's my stash, and it's a very similar process. Now, it's a little bit different because it has the rim along the bottom. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started with it. So it's the same thing, uh, kind of grab it like this and like this. And I would recommend you reference the manual or I think they have some videos to how to do it because I may not be doing it exactly right, but um, this is just my experience. It's the same thing though. You rotate, you rotate the, the arm downward from the lens. There it goes. That one was a little bit harder, but not, not too bad. And so now you can see this whole entire frame is, is loose wants to come off, but uh, let me do the same over here. And that one came off even easier because I think that it was already started. Super easy. In fact, you could say this one's even easier because it uh, doesn't, the nose piece is all integrated with the, with that bottom frame. Easy peasy. Now let's uh, set that aside and place on our, I don't know, let's put our peach ones on. <laughs> and of course it's going to be the same process going back in. Um, in fact, it's a little, I mean, I think with, with this, it's really more of a slide in situation. So I'm just gonna, and the main thing is, is to, there are some like tracks inside the bottom of this, uh, this frame. So you just have to make sure that the, that the lens is matching up with those tracks when you, when you just push it in like that, and really just align it up. So that one side over here is done. Now I'm lining this side up and, and just kind of rotate it in and it's snapped in just like that. And then take a quick look to make sure everything's right. And it is. Nice. And this is what I look like with the rose, orange, whatever you call them, lenses, which I think look really cool from my view. Like everything is like this cool kind of orange color. It's like high def color. So this is what these look like. Let me show you what the, uh, the rail with the smoke color lenses look like. And this is what the rail with the smoke lenses look like. I think these look super cool too. Next up, we're going to talk a little bit about the performance of, this, of these uh, cycling glasses. So they're a little bit different. These ones have the rail on the bottom. The stash has the rail. <laughs> the stash has the, uh, the part of the frame on the bottom. So I wore these a couple times doing a little bit of a fast ride. It's lightweight, doesn't move around on your head, so that's part of the performance. I didn't get any fogging or, or anything, so the airflow is good. And it's super hot and super humid right now here in Florida. We have, like today, 95% humidity. Uh, it's super hot, so um, the performance has been really good. The visibility is really good. Now, like, the cool thing is, even with these, they have no, no frame at the top, so you don't have that situation where when your head is down that, that the frame gets in your vision, which I have had with, like, normal sunglasses for sure I'll get that um, it's not like a big big deal but this nice that this has just that a little bit less distraction um, yeah the the performance has been perfect I, I really don't know what is what else to say about it these I, I had uh, last weekend when I was at uh, the mountain bike park and sometimes I'll have an issue where I get fog up because the speed can be rather slow but I didn't have that with these so that's a win no problem with that uh, sweat I don't know, I didn't really think about it, so I guess that wasn't a problem either. They never got wet or anything, so um, so I'm good on that. And the field of view on this, these are like amazing because there's really nothing to them. You don't see anything at all, so the field of view on these are, these are awesome. So the performance for me is, is excellent. Moving on to the value. So I think these are priced at, last I saw $79 a piece. That's I think without any discount, that's just the normal price. I don't know if they do discounting, but, um, so to me, that's a lot of money, $79 considering all my others are from $1. Like I said, these are gifted, but they're probably around you know, 30 something. These were around 25, I, I think. So for me, this each one, $79. If I got that wrong, I'll put it on the screen. Uh, to me, that's a lot. But realistically, if you do start, start searching cycling sunglasses, actually good ones, this is actually a pretty good price. I mean, as, as you probably already know, sunglasses in general can go up to the hundreds, which to me is crazy. So 
to me, this is a, it's a lot of money, but it's the one, it's kind of the thing where you buy it once. What do they say? Buy once, cry once. So you buy these, you have an actual quality pair of sunglasses that are not just going to be disposable or let you down. Like in the case of this nose piece or be unserviceable like these decathlon ones or just be constantly throwing them away like these. So in my opinion, $79 is a lot of money for a pair of cycling glasses. You, you're buying a, a high quality pair of cycling shades that are serviceable. They come with three lenses, which is an extra value. And, oh, and I should mention they have a lifetime warranty against manufacturer's defects. I seen that somewhere. I didn't read the details, but I saw that mentioned there, I believe, yeah, it says it right here. Free shipping on all orders over $25, so that's a bonus. So you have $79, no shipping, lifetime warranty, and it comes with three different three different shades, which, um, which is great. And as I mentioned before, Tafosi did send me these for free to do a review, but the, I don't have an affiliate link at this moment. I don't have, uh, I'm not paid anything. It's not a paid sponsorship or anything like that. They really just simply sent me the glasses and said, go at it. So, so in conclusion, I'm a big fan of these Tifosi glasses. I think they really hit the nail on the head when it comes to quality and value and style, which is important. I like that they're partnering with YouTubers, especially ones that I like. And um, yeah, I'm just a big fan of the product. So I think that'll pretty much do it for this review video of these Tifosi cycling shades, cycling glasses. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions at all, anything about them that I missed, uh, feel free to jump down in the comments. I'll try to reply to anything I can. Um, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.